No, right. Go ahead, caller. And what does the Bible say? Uh, yes, I wanted to talk about the division you were talking about with the church. All right. Go and ahead. I do. Go ahead. Agree. My personal opinion uh, is because I think there's a division because us as people are making it a division. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Sure. You're right about that. It's not in the Bible. Yeah, because of the the judgmental you know, qualities that, you know, we have about ourselves, about, you know, one church being better than the other one, or one church teaching this and the other one ain't teaching this and this right. and the other. Sure. You know. Um, well, actually, actually, ma'am, it has to do with the fact that people don't respect the Word of God, and as a result, then, they, de they decide that they can just make up anything they want to. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying that, that uh, you know, they're not teaching, you know, or being one one church is not perfect, you know. We, you're going to have, uh, you know, because we're living in the flesh. The thing is that you know we should be teaching love and and you know uh, the love of God, you know, because I mean we have we also have sinners coming to church to try to be saved. So you know it's going to be chaotic in the church till you know God comes back. Well, okay. double goes to church too. Let's go ahead. No, you're fine. Okay. Well, uh, let's look at uh, John fourteen fifteen right quick, and let's let's deal with some things you said there. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I I really want to encourage you. I know you've called in the past with me as well, but I really want to encourage you to try your best to start giving us some scripture on what you say, because right. you know everybody's got an opinion, everybody's got an interpretation. We just want you to give us the Bible. John fourteen fifteen. I Jesus says, "If you love me, keep my." Commandments. Amen. Yes, ma'am. So when the Bible says there's one true church and Jesus wants us church to be in that one true body. church. I'm sorry? The church is, okay, I got some scriptures, okay, oh, that good, I looked good. up. And, I, and matter of fact, I'm glad you made that point good. here because uh, I'm going to go over them with you. All right, good. Let's let's go ahead and see. Just, just give me one and make a point and let's see what we got. Okay. My husband preached today at our church, and he talked uh, about the uh, the church being the body. All right. Good. What? And that's what basically what I was sitting up over here talking to whoever that was, the, the other pastor, and he, you know, uh, got, you know, I guess upset with me about that. No, we don't get upset with you, ma'am, but, uh, you know, another thing, too, we've made it clear that we're not pastors. Pastors are elders in the church. Right. But, uh, he got no, a little upset with me because, uh, and then, you know, we started arguing, which I don't want it to be no argument. I, I don't feel as if, uh, if we can't talk, you know, civilized, you know, how are you Man. doing something out of love to teach people if you're going to get, you know, like that? Well, I mean, confrontation is, it can be love if you're trying to arrive at the truth, ma'am. That's correct. So anyway, go ahead and make Which, your point. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, 1 Corinthians 12 and 12. Okay. Okay. One. All right, we're going to put it up on the screen. Go ahead. Or as the body is one and has many members, but all the members, that one body being many, are one body. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. So on, so on. Now, in saying that, it's stressing about God's body. Yes, correct. Right. Okay. And this is what I was stressing about uh, us being that we we make the church. That's correct. We, Those who are members of the church of Christ make members, up the church. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, now, okay. if the members of the church of Christ make up the church, the question is, will the church be delivered up to the Father in the final day? And members in particular. Right. Members yes. in particular. Did you say yes? Okay, but the Did, thing is, what I'm sitting up over here explaining to you is, you keep on stressing about the church of Christ. If you believe God and you have repented of your sins and you got filled with the Holy Ghost, you have God in you, Right. Uh, Ma'am, when you obey the gospel, then you ha you receive God's spirit to answer your question. Acts 2.38. Okay, wait a minute. Now, it says in the Bible, the other guy stressed this. Acts 2. Mm -hmm. 
if you have been repent, if you repent of your sins yep. and be baptized in Jesus' name, you get filled with the Holy Ghost. That says you've received right? the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay. Okay. That starts the change of events. Okay. All that does is if you let's go to Acts two verse forty seven. That remits your sins. You're baptized so that your sins will be remitted or forgiven, according to Acts two thirty eight. And then when that happens, according to Acts 2, verse 47, we're putting it up on the screen right now. Yeah. Then it says, Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. So, ma'am, are the saved in the church, or are they not in the church? Okay, this, it, when you start the chain of events, that's what I'm sitting up over here saying. When you ask God to forgive you, and you, okay, now where do you find that where you ask God to forgive you? Right. Well, remission of your sins. That's what I'm sitting up over here saying. Okay, ask God that's to forgive asked. you no, for your really. sins. Yeah, that's not talking about that you ask for forgiveness. That, that is saying that the reason why you are be, repenting and being baptized is so that your sins will be remitted or forgiven. Right. Exactly. Okay. So you, I mean, yes. You know, uh, your sins have, to, have been forgiven, but we have been taught that we need to ask God to forgive us. Because well, we're still let, going to sin right. after the fact. Ma'am, you can't that you can't find a scripture for that. What as far as what? That you need to ask God's forgiveness in your in your salvation as far as becoming a Christian. You can't find a verse for yeah. that, ma'am. Right. Well, our flesh are well, okay, I can't ask okay. All right. All right, but anyway, uh, I thought remit being, you know, the remission of your sins that means to be forgiven of your sins. You are forgiven your sins, man, but you were saying that you ha you are, you're confessing your sins and there's no passage within the scripture that indicates a non-Christian that wants to become a Christian is to confess their sins. They're to confess Jesus as Lord. Right. Yes. Okay. So what we're we're trying to do is we're trying to speak as the Bible speaks, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, now as we went to Acts 2 verse 47, the ones who repented and were baptized and received the gift of the Holy Spirit, it says the Lord added them to the church daily such as should be saved. So my question to you was, are the saved in the church according to Acts 2.47? Okay. Yes or no, well, ma'am? Yeah, okay, yeah. As long as they do what they're supposed to do. No, I'm just practice. asking right now. I'm just asking, is according to Acts 2 verse 47, when these folks repented and were baptized and received the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. were the, were, they were added to the Lord's church, it says, as such as should be saved. So I'm just asking and you. They, ha they have the church within them. Well, wait, wait, wait. That's not what he's asking, though, ma'am. He's simply asking, according to Acts 2.47, when a person is saved, are they in the church? The church is in within them. Well, no, but... but the it, Bible says that the Lord added to, to the, the church, church the so saved. The church is... Okay, do you remember when he sits up over here and talks about that he is going to build his church on the rock. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That is, it, th this is basically what he's talking about. He's adding to that. He's adding uh, the church as far as members. We are the church. Members. And, okay, and as we sit up, but when God comes back. Okay, when you say we, do you mean saved or lost? Saved. Okay. You've answered the question right. then. Saved or the church. The saved right. are Members of the church in particular, they are the church. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Okay, so the, are there any lost that are members of the church? I mean, I do believe that... Act, according to Acts 2.47, are there any lost that are if, of the there church? There are sinners that go, that, that go to the foundation. Okay, but are they part of the church? I believe that we all... Just tell me what the Bible says, ma'am. I guess not, no. Okay, very good. Appreciate your honesty on that. That's right. So here's what it comes down to. The faithful of the Church of Christ mm -hmm. as individual members and as the body of Christ, which is the Church of Christ, right. are going to be delivered up in the final day. Corinthians 15, yep. Okay? Uh, yes. And, so, and, and that's what I was sitting up over here trying to stress because... Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. We're, we're in harmony now. Yeah, now, exactly. see, when, when you called uh, the other night, uh, you seem to be indicating that only individual members, and it has nothing to do with any church, but just only individual yeah. members, and that's it. Right. But now you're admitting that it is individual members, yes, but the church as a whole that will. Is that correct? Yes. That's what oh, I was good. sitting up over here trying to explain. Maybe I didn't Excellent. say it right. That's okay. Right. No. I mean, that's the reason why we keep going back and forth. And see, some people say it's arguing, and we're not. We're just trying to understand. clarify and understand some yeah. things, all right?